Who's leading us off in the parade this year here, Jim? Oh, that's the Bensonville Police Department. And they're followed closely by the Bensonville Fire Department. And driving our police car. That is Sergeant Julie Wilson. Happy Fourth, Sergeant Julie. get out of their way with him honking his horn like that and they just won't get out of the way <laughs> Bensonville's emergency services these folks do a great job for us in times of need, whether it's too hot, it's too cold, uh, something should happen, a fire or any other mishap in the village of Bensonville. These folks are always willing to help and provide a lending hand. Emergency services, they provide assistance, support, and equipment to area departments, both fire and police. And they, they have a really loud little vehicle. Well, now that we're all deaf, um, Sergeant Julie Wilson was. Now would be a good time for some of those jokes. That, now, it would be a perfect time for these bad jokes. But that was Sergeant Julie Wilson in the police car. Uh, firefighter Adam was in the. In the, uh, in the battalion commander truck, along with his family. And we had one of the off firefighters, Luke, in the uh, truck, the ladder truck. It's funny, John says, why won't they just get out of the way? They got their lights on. So they were kind of holding up the parade, so to speak. That guy honking his horn. Yeah, he's honking his horn. He's trying to get out of there. Next, we have the American Legion Post. 12.05. Representing all of military personnel. They've been about for a long, long time in many years. Thank you. Happy 4th. Happy 4th. Thank you for your service. All right, kids, be real careful when you're, when you're trying to retrieve candy, okay? You know, a lot of these people that are, you see them straggling around handing out candy, it's usually their first time they've ever been in a parade. They, once you've done that, you have a chance right, to do it again. All right, we've got the Antique Adventures. They're, they're pulling over to the side for a moment, but that's a 1930 Ford Model A. 
and that's Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Yellow, and uh, they've come to many of our parades. Happy Fourth! Every outing with that car seems to be an adventure. Yes, yes. And here comes our own bison van. Happy Fourth, Fenton High School. And the cheerleaders. Happy fourth, Garrett. How are you? You're a water boy today, huh? Good job, good job. So, fine director of the Bensonville, I'm sorry, Fenton Band. It's Wooddale, too, I know. You know, what a grand time we live in where we have the white stripes being played by the marching band. And now we have Fenton's cheer. Well, happy fourth. And followed by the bison soccer. Happy fourth. of education. Happy fourth. You guys are state champions? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You... They're state champions. I mean. Oh, that, that was in the f early 60s, I think. Uh, there was. Uh, and now we have Troop 47. Welcome and happy fourth. Followed closely by Pack 74. Happy, happy yep. Fourth of July. Good morning, fellas. No, you're getting and ladies. So How are you? Rick, I still have that sign in my car. <laughs> happy Fourth. <laughs> happy Hi. Fourth. Happy Fourth. Happy Fourth. Happy Fourth. And now we have our Grand Marshal coming. This is Officer Stephen Kotluski. And let's just give him a big round of applause. of an unsightly offspring down there, the one seated next to him. Officer Kotluski got sworn in in 2009 in Bensonville, and he has been a full-time officer since then. He's actually a phenomenal officer, and uh, I just want to tell you um, what he endured helping bring public safety to our village is amazing. And we have the, the village board, the Bensonville village board and trustees. So Officer Kotluski responded to a, a call on November 6th, and then he was subsequently um, ambushed by someone and shot nine times. And he survived it all. He, he's doing very well. 
He's gained back his ability to walk. He's got lots of strength. He was in phenomenal shape. And, uh, you know, we, we've been keeping him in our thoughts and prayers. How you doing, Village President De Simone? And so we've been co co uh, keeping uh, Officer Kotlewski in our thoughts and prayers, and he is just, the doctors are so pleased with his, tr with his uh, recovery, and he's just doing phenomenally. So thank you for your thoughts and prayers for him. The officer was riding in a car from Grand Subaru, who uh, also is a very uh, great business member of the village. Uh, they do a lot of philanthropic things, not only for canines, but also for the humans in this town. So we're glad to have them in yes, the parade today. Yes, Thank you for them. Oh, and here's another Subaru. You know, it's interesting. We hear a lot of stories about cops in the news, police officers in the news. But you know what? Remember, they're, they're just human beings, and they've got families and lives, and we just want them to get home safely. Hello, Grand Subaru. Happy 4th. Are you throwing out little Teddy Roosevelt's? A little. They're throwing out dogs. They're they're little dogs. Nice. Here. Thank you. Whoa. What about me? That's Subi. Oh, it's Subi. It's Subi the dog. Happy for it, Subi. And after uh, Grand Subaru, we have the Bensonville Chamber of Commerce. Happy 4th, Bensonville Chamber of Commerce. Great to have you here. They advocate for policies at the local and state level to advance our region's economic health. So we're grateful for you guys. Thank you. Happy fourth. Hi, Denise. We have Denise Gallagher riding along with the president of the chamber. Next, we have the Blues Brothers. Happy fourth, Blues Brothers. Welcome to our parade. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Max. Uh-oh, somebody's in trouble. They've got a nun in the back seat. I thought she was coming for you. I, <laughs> she was actually coming for you, but realized you were just I'd too have, much for her. You know? I'd have none of that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Happy board. I think they have a full pack of, uh, they have a full, uh, Full gas tank, half pack of cigarettes, and they're on their way to downtown, right? Hey, how hey. are you? Good. That's those funny little people. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Fourth of July, and welcome to the parade. This is great having the funny little people. I used to pay good money to have that happen. <laughs> See the funny little people. All right, this is a 1961 Mercedes Benz. What a beauty. That's lovely. Happy Fourth. Thanks, Mark, for being in the parade. Oh, the 1930 is going. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Have some great helpers. That's four manpower there. That, that's what you call four manpower. <laughs> yes. The BEA. Yay. The Bensonville Education Association. Happy Fourth of July. I could spell that. Love your teachers. Yes, love your teachers. Absolutely. They're a group of great teachers. We're so glad to have them here. I'm not running after this ass. Huh. And elementary school district number two. Hey, 
Hey, how are you, Principal? Good to see you. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's a school board member. I'm sorry. I'm going to confuse him for one of the principals. Do you know why our school was named Tioga? Yeah. Okay, great. Because this region was known as Tioga, yeah. which means the gateway, because it was the gateway to the hunting grounds of the Potawatomi Indians. Excellent. So now we know a little more history of our area. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth. I don't even know where that came from. You know, I'm not trying to talk trash, but you know what? Republic Services is here, and thank you, for, thank you for being in our parade. Get it? I'm not trying to talk trash, but an um bum bum. All right, whatever. I, th I thought it'd go unnoticed. Yes, yeah, I know you're trying to ignore it, but they're a leader in the environmental services, and they help make a positive impact by helping get rid of our trash and taking care of it in responsible ways. So we're grateful for you guys. Next, we have the Medina Car Club. We have some really nice cars with us today. Not those little flying magic uh, rugs or carpets that they would have with their fezzes on going around. Well, that first one's a 1934 Chevy. Boy, is that a sharp looking car. That is a sharp looking car. Happy Fourth. That's a Thunderbird. That's I have no idea what year, but it's yes. relatively new. Yes, it is. Followed by 1998 Jaguar XJ8. Nice. It's been said, you are what you drive. You, know. you are what you drive, I guess. Happy Fourth. This is a 1999 Mustang GT convertible. Lovely. Boy, if that fire engine wasn't slowing that guy down. I know, right? Oh, welcome El Dorado. Happy Ford. Gaily Bedite, a gallant night. <laughs> and followed by another night, uh, Mustang. This is a 1995 Mustang GT. Happy Ford. Followed by a tow truck, just in case. No, I'm just kidding. You know, I didn't see a Fez on any of your heads there, though. Yeah. Oh, oh he's grabbing his Fez. All right. Oh, he's got his fez. Would that be called a would that holder be called a fez dispenser? Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, actually, it was pretty good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. It's that Steely Dan song. You can't do it without your fez on. <laughs> Well, that was a fine little respite. Next, we have the Addison Trail High School Band and Color Guard. Happy Fourth. The band is directed by Mark Corey. Hello, Mark. Happy Fourth. Thanks for coming by.
Happy 4th of July, Bensonville Public Library. It's the Bensonville Public Library. Vicki, how about a sucker? Uh, Kathleen, are you carrying a lot of candy? <laughs> Happy 4th. Thank you. Reading is fundamental, you know. Yes, it is. I love to read. And you know what? They have uh, reading clubs. Yeah, but and you all only read one book. Yeah, it's a great book. The Bible is awesome. <laughs> yes, it is. And now we got the Raiders. Woo! Happy Fourth Raiders. Those are fine-looking canines there, I'll tell yeah. you that. What are they? What are they? Hilti? Belgian. Oh, Belgian. Oh! Not, those are beautiful Belgians, yeah. Happy Fourth, guys! Hey, if you have water, go ahead and shoot those people on the other side. I'm sure they want. No. Give one of those dogs a drink. So if you're interested in a youth program, Bensonville's Raiders is a wonderful program to be a part of. They also have a cheer as well. And so go ahead and see them. They're known as the BWFCA. Thank Give you, them a sir. holler. Hey, Anthony, can you take out all those sunglasses? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, that's you, that's you. That's Anthony Arno. He's running for state rep in the 77th district. He'd like to be an effective voice for Illinois families. Yes. Happy 4th of July. Thanks for being here in our parade. But now you guys got to move it along. Come on. <laughs> That's enough screen time. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Have a great day, you guys. Happy 4th. Next, we have Taylor ba Taylor's Battery Company B. So they were organized early in the Civil War by... Yeah. Ira Taylor, and accepted into federal service in July as Company B. And we're so grateful to have them. They're here every year. Thanks for being here. They're big shots. Thank you, sir. Now they're walking in a wool costume. That's something right there. It's gonna smell smell like a buffalo later on. I'll tell you what, uh, that that costume's sweltering. Next, happy Fourth of July, Mayor Concrete and Pumping. They're brand new to our our parade this year, and they actually started in 1965 as a small family company, and then over the next 47 years. Uh, they really built their their name and brand recognized as a leader in placement services across the greater Chicagoland area. Commercial, residential contracts of all size. You need some concrete concrete work done? Call. Them. That's what Jimmy Hoffa did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was in Chicago. Was he in Vegas? Well, Vegas. How about this breeze today? That's pretty nice, isn't it? I'm telling you what, it's really nice. It's lovely. Next, we have Dance Force Elite. They were established in 2008, and they've accomplished a wealth of achievements from getting rave reviews at places like the Bud Billiken Parade. Wow. I used to do that. That is amazing. Get it! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Dance Force Elite. Happy Fourth of July. That was fantastic, girls. I wish I could dance. Do you oh, dance? I, I used to dance like that. I couldn't do that without like having to go to the chiropractor afterwards, you know? <laughs> or the emergency room, more like it. <laughs> Happy Fourth. Thanks for being here. There was a lot of energy there. And now they're running. God bless them. They don't know. They're kids. They, they got tons of energy. And now we have the Mid Midwest Street Route Association. Happy 4th. They were established in 1969. There's a young hot rodder looking to drive together and have fun. So this club got together. And they've celebrated their Gears and Ears show for 44 years. That happens annually, and it happened last week in Yorkville. No? Well, they, they started in 69, but they started that event 10 years after that. It's not, I know it's the man thing. I got you. Happy Fourth of July. Thanks for Happy being Fourth. here. So you know where the hot rods actually came from, right? California. Well, technically, so like your racers and things like that actually came out of the Prohibition age. So they would actually have these cars that were super souped up so that they could, they could haul moonshine. I know that Clyde Barrow wrote a letter to Henry Ford thanking him for developing the V8. Did he really? Yes, he did. I didn't know that. Happy Ford Tropical Food. This is Mahana Tropical Drinks, Tropical Food. Mahalo. They didn't bring anything. They're, they're, it's empty, that thing there. Maybe they drank everything by the time we get. Next year, you got to go further at the beginning. Uh, well, they're an authentic Hawaiian food located here in Wooddale and they're proud to provide quality service delicious food and a warm comfortable happiness here and well you know what we say to that mahalo which is thank you in Hawaiian and if they had brought any ice it could have been cleaned up by the Zamboni here Zamboni yeah happy 4th of happy July 4th. this is from the edge ice arena Hi, ladies. You know, the uh, ice arena operates year-round. They have uh, all manner of... They keep ice all year-round in there? All year-round in there. How do they do that? That's amazing. Well, you know, they keep it pretty cold in there. So lots of youth activities and adult skates and hockey, uh, hockey leagues. Happy 4th. Next, we have St. Alexis. Happy 4th of July. Hello, Father. How are you? The gentleman right there in the blue and uh, red hat is the padre of the church, and he's a wonderful man. If you haven't gotten a chance to know him yet, looks like a Fenton High School student. <laughs> you know what? He's awesome. Speaks multiple languages. He's just a great guy. So if you need a church to go to, check out St. Alexis. You know he doesn't really mean that. Huh? You don't really mean that, do you? I do really mean that. Okay. I'm a local pastor, but I want to see them thrive, too. Right. Everybody can go to church. Huh? Yes, yes. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th. It's amazing that people are doing backflips on this asphalt. Wow. That was like six or so, wasn't it? I could do that, but not with these pants on. <laughs> you could do that if you didn't have those pants on, huh? Yeah. Uh, she just did like five backflips. That was amazing. And if I had those wings, I could do that. Oh, you know what? Yeah. The wings help give you lift, yes? That's awesome. Happy Ford. This is all around gymnastics. High quality, dedicated gymnastics coaching staff. 
They make excellent programs, choice for beginners and advanced gymnasts and tumblers. Oh, look at these cute little tumblers. I thought that was a glass. Yeah, no, no. And guess what, and they're happy. Yay, good job. Happy fourth all around gymnastics. You know, gymnastics is great for kids, strength building, endurance, etc. It's wonderful. Now, if, if you think I'm biased a little bit, I'll just tell you that our next float has to be the greatest church in the world. Woohoo! Grace Lutheran Church, located at 950 South York Road. We've been trying to get John to come and visit us. Hey, there's my nephew on his Segway. That's a bit of upsell, hey guys. don't you think? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Truth in advertising, though. But um, actually, we're having a fun festival, free fun festival on July 10th at 1 p.m. We're gonna have water slides and free food, so come and hang out with us. It'll start at 1 p.m. on July 10th. This is the new generation fancy drill team. They're established March 25th of 2000, providing non-traditional recreation, facial fitness, educational, cultural experience for public housing youth. Welcome. I wish I could play an instrument. That was really nice. Do you play in any instruments? I used to play the tuba. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. I play spoons, but it's usually dipped in ice cream, so it doesn't make any nice. It doesn't make any noise. Yeah, you gotta use two. <laughs> yeah. I'm just using two hands, you know, two spoons, one in each hand. Next we have Dave Hasserock. He's in an old Plymouth policed car. And Dave thought he'd come here and share that with you today. Hi, Dave. Happy Fourth, Dave. Next, we have Sydney Cronin K. Hill, who's running for DuPage County Board. Oh, that's nice. The Mustang makes Mustang noise. Nice. Giddy nice. up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Nice. Yeah, we heard it, yeah. That's very nice. Happy Fourth. Welcome to our Happy parade. Fourth. Thanks for being here. Congratulations. Yes. Well, next we have the Medina Motor Corps. And this is under the leadership of Chris Rupert. You know, their precision motorcycle drill team and a, the parade unit of the Medina Shriners. They perform on white ultra classic Shrine Edition Harley Davidson motorcycles. And have been pleasing audiences since 1955. These guys are volunteers, and they practice weekly and ride together regularly for the ultimate purpose of helping children enjoy a better quality of life. They ride so that children can walk. Thanks for being here, Medina Motor Corps. Wow, he was actually steering. He was making a, he was turning a curve and, and able to weigh with one hand. That's pretty nice. 
they start on those little flying magic carpet go karts. You <laughs> oh, know? nice! And then they, 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 then they go into the cars like they had earlier, and then they go on a motorcycle. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, they, they work they, their way up. Well, yeah, and then you're going to see them flying over there later. The, yes. the really advanced guys in the planes. Happy Fourth. Nice Chevy. This is Roots and Wing Wins, and they offer programs to close the gap in social and educational services to the immigrant community who need them, and they're right here in the village of Bensonville. They want to increase the quality of life and help people integrate better into our local community. And they offer civic engagement opportunities as well. Welcome, Roots and Wings. Happy Fourth of July. Yeah, it's the Chihuahua Grooming and Party Room. They're located in Wooddale at 4, 416 East Irving Park. So, do you have to have a Chihuahua to come? Will you do any size, dog? Any size. If you have a Great Dane, bring them there. But if you need your dog groomed, go to Chihuahua Grooming Services. Oh, it's the Moore Group. What Hello. can you tell us about the Moore Group there, Jim? Well, they're new to our parade this year. Moore Solutions is a woman-owned and nationwide IT or information technology optimization and strategy consulting firm. Basically, what they're saying is, is they help, they help you with your commercial and residential IT needs. And if you like more information, call Moore Solutions for all your IT needs because your company deserves it. And we have the Save White Pines Golf Course group. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, John? Well, I, I think there's a little controversy that uh, the park board's thinking about selling the golf course. And uh, I guess people don't want them to sell it. So apparently, what, it's like 125 acres that they want to sell. Yeah. And you know, people... you know. I guess back in the day, there was a referendum, and the citizens decided that they wanted to save the golf course, so they bought it. But now the park board, the uh, five people on there, have decided that maybe they should just sell it instead. Oh. And I oh. think they're upset that they should go to referendum and just not make that decision themselves. Oh. But who knows? I'm sure the right thing will happen. Well, you know what? Everybody's welcome to investigate it and learn more about it if they'd like. Yeah, absolutely. And we got Mia McPherson. Mia, you look great. <laughs> She's, well, I know you're you, but where's Mia? Where's Mia? Oh, you be the judge. She's not <laughs> even in here. Oh, you be the judge. That's awesome. Well, you know what? Mia's a highly respected attorney with more than 23 years of legal experience. She began her career in 1998 as an assistant public defender in DuPage County, and now she's a candidate for circuit court judge. In, Thanks, another, Mia. in another parade. It, but anyway. Yes. BBAA. Hey, yeah. happy fourth. It's our Bensonville Boy and Girls Athletic Association, facilitating youth sports in our community for over 30 years. Wouldn't that be BBGAA? You know, it would be something like that, but anyway it is, I think we should probably look into it. And if you have kids who'd like to be involved in it, I think it'd be a fantastic outlet for them. They do a great job. Yeah, they do. But they, they get annoying with water. You know what? I bet you the people on that side want water. Don't shoot us over here. Don't shoot us over here. Because we have camera equipment. No, 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 no. We got camera equipment. Hey, people across from the viewing stand, you're welcome. <laughs> it's an all-out water. 
It, it's United. an all-out water fight. It says, That's awesome. It says 30 years for BBAA, but I'm pretty sure that it started in the... Don't the, shoot the, us over here. The but shoot those people near the tree. They like water. <laughs> and then these people near the light post, they want more water too. Happy Fourth of July! Don't shoot! The, don't shoot this! Shoot the people under the tree! Oh, nice! Thank you! No, 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 no! All right. I was never good at baseball anyway, man. That kid has an arm. I know. So the story of my life. Everything right through my fingers. Happy 4th of July. And by the way, these people want water over here. See that lady with that light colored hat? No, 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 no. Don't shoot us. We got electric equipment. No, no, no. Shoot that lady with the with the light hat. And the guy with the two flags. No, 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 no. Don't shoot us over here. You've seen the Wizard of Oz. That's what would happen in this game. <laughs> Happy 4th of July. This lady's been asking for water. Happy Fourth. What's your dog's name? It's a really ugly child you have there. <laughs> I'm talking math. I was talking about <laughs> Next, we have Yesterday's Farm. This is Wooddale's Historical Society. Happy Fourth. It's great to see you. That's a 1945 International Harvester Model M, I believe. And that is owned and operated by Richard of Wooddale. And they want to remind you all to come to Harvest Fest on September 11th. From 11 to 4. Now next we got this Alice Chalmers uh, and driven by Ralph and actually he attends our church as does Rebecca. Happy 4th of July. Does he drive that tractor to church? He does drive that tractor to church. No he doesn't. What's amazing is how they got a shark in there and a unicorn. But that's yesterday's farm. Check them out. They've got a great a great fun fest lots of food and uh, games for the kids things like that they'll have tractor rides they'll have ponies etc great time next we have the Bensonville Park District happy 4th of July Bensonville Park District so they've been in existence since August 27th 1960 Woo! It began with one swimming pool and six neighborhood parks. Thank you, Bensonville. Happy uh, Fourth. And now they've got a huge pool, a leisure center, uh, probably 10 neighborhood parks, a 256-acre golf course. Oh, they, well, they want to sell half that, but. And next. This is Freedom. Next, we have Freedom Community Service. Happy 4th of July. Huh? No, 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 but you know, you see that lady with the light colored hat and the blue shirt? And the guy with the two, two, the two uh, American flags on his head? They want water. Happy 4th of July. Next we have the Bensonville Park District. This is the commissioner. still a park district. Yeah, still a park district. Great float. Happy Fourth. Happy Fourth. Next we have tomato towing. You know what, no matter what time of day it may be, Tomato towing is always there to help. Uh, from Chicagoland, 24/7. You know, 
tomato may or tomato may not tow. That's actually Tommy Stiefel's company, good friend, local boy. And next we have Premier Mechanical, and they were founded in 1994 by Martin Schultz and Ron Eisenberger, Eisenbacher, sorry, with a strong focus on technology and quality. Premier has evolved into one of the area's leading uh, leaders in full service mechanical contracting services. Happy Fourth of July. Thanks for being in our parade. Happy Ford. Aww. She should have that stuff in. Give it to her. You know what? Would you like a stuffed animal? You already have one? Okay, great. Perfect. I wasn't going to give it to you anyway. And then last, but certainly not least, from the village of Bentsville are the Public Works and also Forestry Department. Public Works, these are the guys and gals that do the job providing the services that we all really depend on, but uh, you really don't notice until something breaks down or something doesn't happen the way it's supposed to. But they're the ones that make things work. I'll tell you what, you know what? Especially in the winter when a pipe breaks, these guys are these guys are out there working in all manner of temperatures, keeping our city running and our infrastructure going. We're so grateful for you guys. Happy Fourth. So they wouldn't let you drive one of the uh, dumps this year, huh? No, but I thought they were going to do a synchronized dance. Oh, I like thought, the, yeah, weren't they supposed to do the Medina? Like the Medina? Yeah, the Medina Motor Court. Yeah, yeah, they were supposed to do their synchronized. Uh, <laughs> you guys got to get that together. They're not practicing every week to do that. But you guys, next year, you'll have a routine like synchronized swimmers or the Medina Mo Motor Court. Awesome. Well, thanks for all that you guys do. We're grateful for you. You know what? One of my dreams in life is to own a bobcat. Look at that. Nice. Oh. Well, they're kind of dangerous, you know. They're small, but they're very mighty, and those claws, they'll hurt you. <laughs> Not the animal. The little, uh, little, little baby dump truck. Oh. Is that Ted? Yeah, that's Ted. So the next, the next truck, this is driven by Ted. And... Ted and his wife, Vicki, have done an amazing amount. They're the ones who actually helped put this parade together. Happy for it, Ted. Thanks for all that you and Vicki did. And actually, you know, if it's a guy and a gal, Vicki did all the work. Ted didn't do much of anything. <laughs> if had Vicki still back there working while Ted's driving around in a You truck. know what? Vicki is amazing, isn't she? Well, happy 4th of July. Thanks for being here with us. God bless you. May you and your families. Have a wonderful 4th of July, safe and filled with lots of food, fun, and love.